The Milky Way wasn't always as it is today a beautiful warped spiral. It became its current size and shape by eating up other galaxies, and our galaxy has consumed others in, such as the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy. Scientists believe that 90% of our galaxy's mass consists of dark matter, that means that all of the luminous matter that which we see with the naked eye or at telescopes is less than 10% of the mass of the Milky Way, and no one knows actual mass of total Milky Way. Milky Way is part of an even larger grouping of galaxies known as the Virgo Supercluster. Superclusters are groupings of galaxies on very large scales that measure in the hundreds of millions of light years in diameter. We can't see Milky Way from above. This is due to the fact that we are inside the galactic disk, about 25,000 light years from the galactic center. Any of the beautiful pictures you've ever seen of Milky Way is another spiral galaxy or artist impression. The Milky Way has between 100 to 400 billion stars, but when you look up into the night sky, the most you can see from any one point on the globe is about 2,500. This number is not fixed, however, because the Milky Way is constantly losing stars through supernovae and producing new ones all the time. The center of our galaxy is called Sagittarius A, a massive black hole that measures 22.5 million kilometers has 4.6 million times the mass of our sun, and Sagittarius A tries to consume anything that happens to be nearby it. The Andromeda Milky Way collision is a galactic collision predicted to occur in about 4 billion years between the two galaxies and a giant elliptical galaxy named Milkromita will form. The most recent estimates the age of the universe is about 13.7 billion years. The oldest stars in our Milky Way are found in globular clusters. The Milky Way, along with everything else in the universe, is moving through space. The Earth moves around the Sun, the Sun around the Milky Way, and the Milky Way is part of the local group, which is moving relative to the cosmic microwave background radiation, the radiation left over from the Big Bang. The Milky Way gets its name from a Greek myth about the goddess Hera who sprayed milk across the sky so our galaxy got popular by this name.